now we will start with the first topic of design methodology in design flow that is architecture exploration so as we know that architecture exploration is nothing but analyzing the requirements and the constraints given by the client now okay so now the term architecture exploration so alternatively can be defined as design space exploration okay refers to the task of abstract modeling and analysis of candidate designs here the abstract modeling is nothing but it is a way of learning the skills and the behavior by indirect observation of others whereas analysis of candidate designs means so different architectures need to be analyzed given by the candidate the term exploring is also represents that the space of possible system architecture means there should be a different types of architectures in that the possible architecture need to be chosen to implement the final product now so one important aspect of architecture exploration is partitioning of the operations so partitioning of the operations means so dividing the operation into sub systems okay so by doing this here it will allows the application of a divide and conquer problem by solving the strategy okay so then when working at the abstract level of architecture exploration this is important the components need not be physical parts of a system nothing but we have to implement the architecture using any specific tools like cad tools so we should not implement directly using physical parts otherwise it will increase the final end product cost of the design okay so instead that we can think of logical partitioning so logical partitioning helps us to implement the design using any software tool so this form of partitioning is also called functional decomposition now the physical the physical partitions can include processor cores accelerators means increasing the speed memories and input output controllers also important is hardware bar software partitioning which we have discussed in the previous video so now we will take an example so to discuss how physical partitioning and logical partitioning are different and what is the importance of logical partitioning to reduce the final cost of the product okay so now we have taken one example uh, of a road transport monitoring system which checks the whether the trucks drive from one part of the country to another in too short an interval okay so here we have consider one block diagram so this in this block diagram this top level of the block diagram represents the logical partitioning and this bottom level represents the physical partitioning and we will discuss how logical partitioning is important before it is implemented using physical partitioning okay so here you have taken an example like this this is a video input when the truck arrives to the country the video input has been taken of that uh, truck then it is filtered filtering is nothing but removing the noises present in that video then detect the truck detect the shape of the truck then plate means uh, the license of the truck once the license of the truck is detected then the truck has been recognized then timing and the license has been logged in using the login process this is controlled by the network interference okay then these all operations are controlled by the system here the diagnostic and maintenance team will be there to maintain all these operations so this is what logical partitioning before implemented using physical parts okay it requires zero cost to implement this so what we need here is one any software tool like cat tools okay so once we implemented this properly using a software tool that can be implemented using physical partition or physical parts same thing video input video filter edge detector shape detector only the plate has been replaced by the bus bridge means few changes need to be done here so that logical partitioning is little bit different from the physical partitioning okay so bus bridge uh, plays an important role of plate recognition processor core performs the operation of system control memories are used here to store the information so network interference to provide the internet facility to the system okay 
so this is about how logical partitioning is important before it is implemented in the physical partitioning okay so this is about this is what explained in the in this given brief just go through it you will understand okay so this is about architecture exploration so if you have any doubts you can contact me thank you